This video may contain content not suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a sports weekend roundup edition of the Callous Mind Talking Head Sportscast. In this video, we're going to discuss the 2023 NFL Week 7 results so far, highlight another upset in college football, talk about UFC 294, and for the sake of convenience, I'll put timestamps right here. So the 2023 Week 7 results thus far, Jacksonville wins on Thursday night. That wasn't that huge of a surprise. The Raiders getting stomped on by the Bears is a little more surprising to me. I mean, have a little bit of respect for yourself and don't lose by 18 points. But I guess, you know, when your rookie quarterback's throwing pick sixes and shit like that, then you're just bound to get stomped. So, but did it have to be to the Bears? I mean, now y'all have to listen to Adam about, oh, the Bears beat the Raiders and the Bears are hot garbage. You know, and I thought for sure that the Bears were hotter garbage than uh, than the Raiders, but I don't know. Maybe they're both stewing in the same trash bin, uh, from what I can tell. Um, Browns outlast the Colts. I mean, woo, yikes, man. And what is this? The Bills lose to the Patriots? See, here's the thing that's weird about the Bills is they seem to be playing down or up to their opponents. I mean, one week, they're hanging, you know, 60 points on the Miami Dolphins or whatever it is uh, that seems like it's going to be a hell of a matchup, and they just dust the Dolphins. And a couple weeks later, they're, they're losing to the Patriots, who had won one game on the season coming into yesterday? Really? I mean, I just don't know what to say about the Buffalo Bills other than they seem much more inconsistent this year than they have been in years past. And I'm sure their head coach has just got to be losing his damn mind. But Washington Commanders versus the New York, they might be football giants. They were indeed football giants yesterday as they defeat the Commanders. So, you know, once again, uh, Washington misses an opportunity within their division to kind of, you know, Maybe gain a little ground or put a little distance between themselves and the Giants, but they didn't do it. So kudos to the Giants for winning that game. Uh, speaking of interdivisional matchups, uh, how about the Dirty Birds, the Falcons, going to Tampa and outlasting the Buccaneers? They're uh, walking it off on a field goal. And the Lions, what in the hell happened to the Lions this weekend? I mean, I picked them in my picks last week. I had no problem doing so. But man, they look pretty amateur against the Ravens and I don't know you know once again the Ravens are one of these teams that that seem to waffle between good and bad I mean uh you know one week they're being held down by the Steelers uh can't hardly score any points look anemic as hell and then they go out and score 38 against the Lions and and beat them by 32 so good lord the Steelers go to LA and defeat the Rams which you know hey that's that's good for them and look you know, don't look now, but here are the Steelers, four and two, you know, lurking there in that uh, highly competitive NF or AFC North. I mean, that's that'll probably come down to the last week of the season for sure. Then the Cardinals, you know, blow some opportunities and lose on the road to the Seahawks, twenty to ten. So this is uh, it's getting tiresome, boys. It's getting tiresome. That's all I can say, man. I'm looking forward to Kyler Murray coming back because listen. The Cardinals could have won this game, but we can say that about a lot of games this year. The Cardinals could have won a lot of games this year, but they have not. So the proof is in the win-loss record, not in woulda, coulda, shoulda. If if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. How about the Packers going on the road and losing to the Denver Broncos, which that's not really a surprise to me. You know, in years past, Playing at mile high was actually an advantage for the Broncos uh, because of the higher elevation, right? Uh, so the Broncos getting this win, that's who I picked, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that's not unexpected. Uh, and Jordan Love throwing into double coverage for a game-sealing interception, 
that's not unexpected either. The next game was the Chargers and Chiefs, and the Chiefs score 31 points. I mean, you know, and beat the Chargers pretty soundly. So we we know uh, who's in charge in the AFC West there. It's the Chiefs. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, my question is, what's going on with the Chargers this year? Uh, sitting there at 2-4, and four, you know, they made the playoffs last year, had that stunning, stunning defeat to the Jacksonville Jaguars in the playoffs last year. And is that terrible loss in the playoffs last year bleeding into this season for the Chargers? Or is it just that they don't have their best receiver and things are not going their way uh, offensively as much as they did last year? And then, you know, the Dolphins losing to the Eagles. Uh, I got to ask the same question about the Dolphins that I do about the Bills. Who are you? Are you as good, better, or worse than your record suggests that you are? Because now we've seen the Dolphins play the Buffalo Bills and lose. We've seen the Dolphins play the Philadelphia Eagles and lose. And, you know, theoretically, these are two of the more uh, strong teams within their conference. At least you expect the Buffalo Bills to be strong, you know, uh, and the Eagles won the NFC last year, went to the Super Bowl, and seem to be leading the way in the NFC again this year. So, you know, um, is this a, a good assessment, a good preview of what we'd get in the Super Bowl if the Dolphins made it there and the Eagles made it there? I mean, would the Eagles so handily handle the Miami Dolphins like they did on uh, Sunday Night Football? I mean, you guys let me know in the comment section below. I just... I I want to believe in Miami. I, I'd really love to see Miami win. I mean, listen, the truth is I've always been kind of a closet Miami Dolphins fan because growing up I got to watch Dan Marino play and I always rooted for Dan Marino. So to see the Dolphins at 5-2, and two, you know, it's not bad, but they play in a tough division. You know, they're going to have to be able to beat teams like the Jets, the Patriots, and the Bills. If you really want to win your division, not just, you know, kind of sneak in with a wild card or, you know, pray that somebody else falls off or whatever. But, you know, you're, you're going to need to be able to win these games is what I'm saying to you. And so if you can't, maybe you're a fraud as it is. I don't know. All right. So the college football scoreboard, I really wanted to highlight a couple of games. One was Oklahoma Barely, barely, barely squeaking by UCF, 31 to 29. Uh, as I predicted in a video a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was a little concerned that the Raid or the Raiders. I was a little concerned that the Sooners would not finish the season undefeated um, because you start getting involved in close games and then inevitably you will lose one. And this one was uh, a nail biter that should not have been, but was. And speaking of uh, playing competitively, I wanted to highlight USC losing for the second week in a row. And also a couple of weeks ago that I predicted that I thought USC would lose this season as well because they had almost lost to Arizona. It took them till triple overtime to win that game. And they had also given up a lot of points in the second half of the, their Colorado game. So I thought that Colorado and Arizona had kind of combined to put together a blueprint to defeat USC. Turns out they lost last weekend, and I forgot to highlight that in last Thursday's video. And then they turn around and lose again this weekend to Utah. So, looks like SC is out of the national championship conversation. And then I wanted to mention the Arizona State Sun Devils versus the Washington Huskies this past weekend as the Washington Huskies were 28 point favorites against the Devils and they only beat them by eight points. So I guess I should give credit to Arizona State for playing that competitively and only losing by eight points, not allowing Washington to cover. And if I was a Washington Huskies fan, uh, I would count my blessings and say that, uh, you know, don't hold your breath because as much as USC has lost now twice, 
I think Washington is on the road to uh, suffering a loss as well. So, okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about UFC 294. Uh, I had only made like three predictions and Volkanovski lost to Makachev. That was an emphatic loss. So uh, congratulations to Islam for defeating uh, Volkanovski there. Uh, Hamza Kamaev did win this fight against Kamara Usman. However, it was close, pretty damn close. Uh, a lot closer than I expected it to be. So congratulations uh, to Usman for going you know, all three rounds uh, against Hamza Kamaev. And then uh, this fight really pissed me off between Johnny Walker and Magomed Ankalov because... Uh, it would have been a good fight to see, but uh, I don't know what it is with fighters wanting to knee grounded opponents, but that shit needs to stop immediately. I understand that you're in there, you're in a fight, but you're not in a street fight. There's rules in these cages for a reason, for fighter safety. You're fighting for entertainment, not to just, you know, wreck your opponent for the rest of their life. So. Uh, I'm getting really, really tired of seeing these guys commit these fouls of kneeing a grounded opponent, and that's exactly what happened in this game. Uh, it seemed to concuss uh, Johnny Walker in this fight. Uh, a knee from Ankalev to a grounded Johnny Walker seemed to concuss him, and the fight had to be stopped and was ruled a no contest. So, Thank you all for taking some time and spending it with me here early in the week. I look forward to doing a second video this week that will have my week eight predictions and my final results from my week seven picks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending some time with me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until Thursday, please, please, please be good to yourselves and each other. God bless.